everybody. Let's see if I can get this lined up. I have a box. I wasn't sure what it was because the it just says shipping department on the uh, who it is sending it. So I slide it open, and I want to share this with you. There's a website called Daily Break. Um, and you, you do various quizzes and things. You can look at articles, that kind of stuff. And some of the things that you can do are activities for various products. Like, you know, answer some questions and they'll tell you which product is better for you out of their line. That kind of thing. And sometimes at the end, they enter you into a sweepstakes. Apparently, I won a prize in one of the sweepstakes because this is from... Hormel Chili. And it says, You're a winner. Congratulations on being one of our winners. We hope you enjoy your summer with the Hormel Chili. So we've got, you know, the picture with the grill and the hot dogs and all that kind of stuff. So, I had received an email about this. I was like, oh, really? That's kind of cool. And I, I kind of forgot about it until this random box showed up. I was expecting... A couple other packages but being that today is Veterans Day we may or may not get deliveries um, I was surprised to actually find this out there <laughs> it's kind of pretty though with all the different red and white squiggles gotta find something to put those in um, oh I can put it in I'll put them in this uh, bag that the uh, comforter I got the other day came in And maybe I can kind of keep it from getting too spread across the house. I'm trying to clean things up so that guests can come next week. Uh, my brother and his family are coming, and we're going to do Thanksgiving, we, like we always do the weekend before. So that's next weekend, which means I need to, you know, kind of clean a little bit. I laugh because I'm not good at cleaning and I have no time I'm trying to get Mecca's letter shying gear so we can go do laundry today because I'm down to the point where you know I'm running out of clothes for work and I can't exactly go to work naked nobody wants to see that if they do there's something wrong with me anyway that kind of cleared out some of this so let's see what is in here. Well, the first thing I found looks like a set of three um, can cozies, drink cozies. They're magnetic because they're sticking together. So they're just, you know, your little insulated can holders for drinks. There's apparently three, unless there's one hidden in here somewhere. I don't know how many they're supposed to be or anything. More squiggly things. They sure do have a lot of the packing stuff. Um, some paper. I will uh, smooth that out and my niece can use it to draw on if she wants. What's this? This. Let me set this down. This is an apron. And it just, it's black and just says Hormel Chili on it. I don't actually have an apron that I use currently. Um, the aprons I have, one is when I don't want to mess up. Um, because it came from Savannah College of Art and Design, which is where I went to school, and it was like an alumni thing that they sent me, oh, probably a couple years ago now, and I just, I don't want to mess it up, because it's really a nice one. The other ones I have all are kind of messed up, because I've used them for art, and I, even though they've been washed multiple times, I just don't 
trust them um, to be used in the kitchen. They are for art. Okay, what's this? Hopsulated Trio Stainless. So this is some kind of thermos? Hate warm beer? We do too. That's why we created the Hopsulator Trio. The most versatile can cooler in the world. Fits all your favorite 16 ounce craft cans, comes with a freezable adapter for 12 ounce cans, and with one quick switch turns into a 16 ounce pint glass with a 100% leak proof locking lid. Huh. Well, I don't drink beer, but I would imagine you could put other kinds of cans. This is really good packaging. Okay, there's the lid. And here's the uh, thing itself. Oh, oh. I don't know how you get this out of here. Come on, come out, come out. There we go. This must be the, the freezer adapter thing. Usable adapter. I don't know. I'm not sure how that works, but this is the piece that turns it into a pint glass versus um, I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look. Here's the, the lid. Which I guess you gotta take the ring off and then this fits down in there. Like that. So I'm just gonna put the whole thing back in the little container. It's got a little instruction leaflet in there too. But I love that this packaging is really great. And it, I mean, it tells you what kind of things fit in it, um, how to clean it, and all that kind of stuff. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat. And down here is a box. Get more of these little squigglies out of here. We have this box. It says hormone chili. What is this? Huh. Okay, don't let the packaging outsmart you. Can't get the bubble wrap on. Okay. little case of some sort. What's in the case? Ooh! It's a, a set of barbecue tools. So you got like a brush and a fork and a knife and tongs and a big spatula. That's really nice. Really nice. Now I gotta figure out where my um, grill is. <laughs> Somewhere I've got like a propane grill. I'm just not entirely sure where it is at the moment. If it's here or if it's at my brother's. 
this back in to keep them padded and safe for now. That's a pretty neat gift set, if I must, if I do say so. I, this is is phenomenal. Although it seems weird that the logo is upside down when the from the handle, because I don't think you're going to be setting it on the handle. So that seems a little interesting, but it's cool. This is a really well constructed case. It's got these little rubber, rubber, maybe they're plastic, but these little like feet so you can lay it when you open it up. Neat. This is a really cool set. So three can koozies, um, the thermos pint glass thing barbecue tools and where did it go the um, apron <laughs> so thank you to uh, daily break and Hormel chili this is a really really neat package and now I've got all these squiggly things that I can use for packaging because <laughs> I recycle you know and this box from um, Amazon. What did I do with my scissors? I put them back in the. Okay. I hope you're not getting too much of a click, click, click. I have the fan on. We're at that weird time of the year, you know, the autumn when if you turn the little space heater on, it's way too hot, but if you don't have it on, it's way too cold. Oh yeah, this is my new Kindle that I had to buy to replace the one that just decided to quit. There we are. Fire HD 10 with Alexa. I don't care about the Alexa stuff. It's a one with the uh, 64 gigabyte of memory and um, I'll use a lot of that. And it's also expandable up to a terabyte, I believe, if you put a memory card in. Um, micro SD up to one terabyte 10 inch display octa core plus three gigabytes RAM I don't know what that means the octa core part uh, dual band AC Wi-Fi front and rear cameras Dolby Atmos Atmos it's really pale it's hard to read but yeah it's um Nice little tablet. I, I, I swear by my Kindles. I have I love my Kindles. Matter of fact, um, right before I started recording, I was using my old beat up one. <laughs> I mean, it's it's got a crack here. The corner is broken, and but it still works. It's been through a lot, and it still works. Um, I was listening to a, a book on it. I'm listening to uh, Agatha Raisin and the Quiche of Death. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm maybe, I don't know, halfway through it. And I'm really enjoying it. Um, oh! And another thing that came yesterday. Um, our local Wendy's, the, the Huntington, Charleston, West Virginia area, when Wendy's were doing a um, breakfast matching game thing, we happened to go in one day and get breakfast while we were waiting on an appointment. And we had everything else done in town that we needed to do. We were just killing some time before we could go to do the other thing. And so we went into Wendy's, we got breakfast, and I was like, what the heck and I scanned the little QR code and ended up winning this this is breakfast for a year okay um, so what what you get is there's 52 coupons for a small breakfast combo breakfast sandwich combo 
and it, they're each dated for a specific week. So this is the one I have to use it by Sunday or I lose it. I get off work at 6 a.m. on Sunday, so I'll just grab breakfast on the way home. Um, but yeah, it's from the Charleston Huntington Wendy's locations, and apparently Pomeroy, Ohio is counted in that grouping. The only thing that I find kind of weird is that they didn't start the coupons for January 1st of 2023. That's what I would have done. It would have made more sense run it January 1st to December 31st. And then each week you've got, you know, your new coupon. They started the coupons September 12th. I don't know what the date was of the last week, but it was after that date. So the coupons start expiring before the game is even over. So by the time I received it, Eight coupons were already expired. So I'm going to ask them when I stop in there and say, Hey, I didn't receive this until, you know, the 10th. Eight of the coupons were already expired. Is there something we can do? You know, can we, can, maybe we can redeem them or something. If, I mean, it's up to the manager of the location, I would think. So... It doesn't hurt to ask. Maybe they'll say, oh, that's not your fault. That's We didn't get it sent out to you. Because it said 8 to 10 weeks for delivery of the book. And I, it hasn't even been 8 weeks. It's been, I don't know, 5 or 6 maybe at the most. So, yeah, that, that tells me that they weren't planning on people winning it the last two weeks of the competition or contest game whatever because the coupons started expiring before the end of the game and if people can still win it the last day of the game they shouldn't have coupons that are expiring that early I'm grateful for the ones that are still good I mean I think that's fantastic I still gonna get you know, a couple hundred dollars worth of breakfast, which is really neat, and I was excited that I won, I just, I find it strange that they didn't just start the coupons valid after January 1st, and then, you know, one a week. Um, because this first one, well, the first couple, they gave you until the end of October. Two weeks ago, okay? All, almost two weeks. Week and a half. So still, even with that, there was no way I could use them because they, they expired a week and a half before I got the coupon book. So there's that. But it is kind of a neat thing to win. I had a pretty good couple weeks there in October. I got the notification of this Hormel Chili package. Thanks again to them and Daily Break. Um, I won the Wendy's breakfast. I won that book prize that I showed you what, a week or so ago. And I have read one of the two books that was in it. And I've been enjoying all the little goodies that came with it. Um, so I, I did pretty well there for a couple weeks. I was like, yay, this is pretty cool kind of a neat run of luck and then I had to turn around and spend a hundred bucks replacing my Kindle because it went <laughs> not like let's put that with this I don't lose it I want to keep all that together <sighs> so much stuff going on um my new coat came but it's in the other room and I'm not gonna climb over all this stuff that I just blocked myself in with uh it's just a basic brown leather bomber jacket excellent deal though I got it from um, King Size which is a big and tall men's store or online store um, same company as Woman Within, Romans um, oh geez there's a whole slew of them uh, One Stop Plus um, I, I've bought from various entities I don't know does it have does it list all of them on here anywhere fullbeauty.com 
Romans, um, does it list all of the Woman Within, Brian Lane Home, uh, King Size, Swimsuits for All, Catherine's is part of it, um, Jessica London, there, there's a, I don't know, whole slew of brands under this one umbrella. And king sizes like the men's big and tall. And since I was striking out buying women's jackets, um, I went with my old standby and got a really, really, really good deal. It was a, a almost five hundred dollar coat. It was on sale, fifty percent off. They were having a fifty percent off outerwear sale. So I mean that. It was just under 500 so it knocked it down to like 228 I think, something like that. Then I had a coupon code for $100 off a $200 or more order, which knocked it down to 120 something And I was like, you can't beat that, you know? I saved over $350 because of the way the sale and the coupon fell. Unfortunately, I couldn't get free shipping. That would have just been icing on the cake. Shipping was like $23 or something. It's shipping's outrageous lately, have you noticed? It's like that that book box that came was almost thirty dollars shipping. It was twenty-eight something. Um I thought, wow, and that's not counting all the goodies inside. So that was an expensive little gift that I won. I don't know what the shipping was on this for the Hormel kit, but I mean it's fairly fairly heavy considering the things that were in it. I mean, this case is metal. So, you know, shipping is, is insane. And I I really appreciate it when places offer free shipping. I have a couple more things I'm waiting for. Um, I should be having a book outlet haul coming here shortly. Uh, as long as, as it's here before fr next Friday, they have a week to get it here. It's been shipped. It should be here any day. Um, I have something from Temu? Timu? I don't know. T-E-M-U. Temu? Timu? I think it's the new Wish. Because it's really inexpensive stuff. But they had a lot of really neat things. And I... You know, free shipping on everything. Like, hey, cool. And then if your first order you get 30% off. So, yeah. Why not? Um, they had a couple cute things that I thought would make nice stocking stuffers. Um, and a couple bats that I thought, yeah, I like, I like that. I haven't added to my collection in a little while, so I need to add some more bats. But other than that, uh, I think I've gotten most of the things I've ordered so far. I placed an order through Bronner's Christmas Wonderland, or whatever it's called, a couple of ornaments, um, really hoping it gets here before next Friday because the one ornament is for my niece so I need it to get here so I can give it to her while she's here otherwise I'm holding it till next year <laughs> um, I'll look around like at Walmart or in different places while we're out and about and see if I can find something else that as just in case or as an extra um, let's see what else that's kind of all I've got right now. I was, really, I think that is such a neat prize package. The only thing I'm surprised at is since it's for Hormel chili that there wasn't a can of chili in there. That would have just been <laughs> the icing on the cake, so to speak. You know, give me a can of chili to go with all the goodies, but oh well. Missed opportunity, right? But everything's branded, except for the um, flask. But that's just really neat. I, I'm impressed with it. I'm going to have to play with it and check it out and see what, what I can do with it. Um, not beer. <laughs> but I, I do think that's cool. Uh, I don't know what else to talk about. 
don't really have anything to show at the moment. The only other packages I got have been Christmas gifts for my uh, sister-in-law, so... I mean, she's getting CDs and books and stuff. You know, the usual kind of goodies that you get from Amazon. Uh, I don't think they watch any of my videos, so it doesn't matter if I talk about it or not. I need the book outlet stuff to get here, and I need the ornaments to get here. And I think I've got pretty much everything else... The one thing I ordered may not get here until after the fact, but that's okay. We'll just hold it till next time, or if I get ambitious, I can package it up and send it, but I'm not that ambitious. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's it. So now i got to see if I can get... Neko Fluttershy moving so they can go do fun, exciting things like laundry! Woo! I need him to carry the baskets in and out because it's up and down steps to get into the laundromat. And I'm still shaky on stairs after my knee injury last year. I mean, it's been a whole year and I still... Stairs make me freak out, so... Yeah. I need him to help me with that. And then we'll probably go into Athens and uh, go to Kroger because I got an ad in my email yesterday saying that turkeys are 59 cents a pound. And I've got one in the freezer, but, you know, at that price, it's worth picking up another turkey. So, we'll do that. I've got a couple other things I need to pick up. Might go to the dollar store. I don't know. Might get some dinner. But he's got to get his butt out of get bed and get in gear so he can get it done. <sighs> anyway, um, December, I'm going to do something a little different that I've never done on my channel. I've managed to get a hold of a couple advent calendars, so keep an eye out for that in December. But I mean, you still got half a month yet, so. Who knows what's going to pop up between now and then couple more haul videos probably from various things that I've been ordering. Spending money like I got it. Didn't win the Mega Millions or Powerball or whatever it was. That was up to what, $2 billion? Didn't win. Somebody out in California I guess gets it. Oh well. I only bought one ticket so I'm only out, you know, the two bucks. Would have been nice to have at least gotten that back, but you know. It is what it is. I buy maybe one or two tickets a year, so if that last couple of years I haven't bought any, so that's my contribution to the the prize. So if you're the person who won, you're welcome. <laughs> two whole dollars came from me. So I think I'm gonna get off here. I'm just rambling about nothing now, so uh I guess we'll see you in the next one. Remember to do all the YouTube things. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell icon to be notified of future uploads. Maybe. And we will see you in the next one. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I'm sure it'll be something weird. Because it seems like all my videos have been weird lately. Um, maybe we'll find some neat snacky foods that we can make another taste test video because for some reason y'all want to see us taste test food I don't know why but hey if that's what y'all want to see I do know that Little Debbie has a new ice cream flavor out it's based on their little Christmas tree cakes if we can get a hold of that maybe we'll do one on that it's not going to be eight flavors like the last one those things are like two and a half bucks a little tiny carton I could spend two twenty four and get one that's three times the size so you know yeah, spend less money and get three times as much. That sounds like a better deal to me. But we do what we do because gotta have content, right? And last I checked, I was at like 68 subscribers. So our little family has gotten a little bigger over the past few months, which is nice. Maybe we'll make it to 100 yet. Um, 
that's kind of my my next goal is 100. I was really excited to finally hit 50. But by the time I noticed I hit 50, we were almost to 60. And I was like, keep on coming. <laughs> so if you got friends you think might like this weird rambly content, you know, invite them. Let them hang out with us and join our little family here. Uh, but I really don't have anything else to talk about, so I guess we'll just see you in the next one. Bye-bye.